Welcome back to Monet Cafe, our little art place where we can experience and grow together. Today is just another basic sketching exercise and lesson that it's my hopes to help uh, create good art habits for you and good drawing skills and observational skills of being able to recreate accurately what we're trying to draw is totally the, the foundation of drawing and good art. So I plan to help you learn better drawing um, skills. And in doing that, uh, the way I'm going to do that is basically just by recreating some of these simple, very simple objects here. Okay, the first one is just a turtle. And I wanna do some explaining here before I actually start to sketch. And I'm gonna talk through the sketching and I want you to pay attention and maybe try to sketch this yourself. I'm gonna include a printable um, document in the about section of this so that you can, you basically will just copy the link, uh, paste it in your browser, and then you'll be able to print it out. But even if you don't do that, you can just follow along, make you a, a rectangle that's similar to the size, and you can follow along as I'm doing this. But before I start to sketch, I want to describe something here that is a common mistake of beginning artists. Uh, typically, when people start to draw something, they literally look at only the object they're drawing. They start looking at these outlines and they start thinking about this shape, which is called in art the positive shape, okay? It is the thing that we are attempting to draw. And they fail to notice the negative shape around the object. I'm gonna do something here so you can see what I'm talking about. I have to switch layers. Again, I'm on my, my Wacom, Wacom drawing tablet um, and uh, it's just easier for me to film, but normally I'd be doing this with a uh, pencil and, um, and paper. But it also helps me to be able to do this, to show you um, things like this. Now we can see what I'm referring to as the negative space, not just the positive space, but the negative space of this object here. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is not only focusing on like the shape of this fin here, we're going to also be measuring with our eyes and seeing as we recreate this space. If you notice, can you see this shape here? Um, this is a, something in art you learn to do is to focus on, for example, I'm gonna undo this so that I can show you what I'm talking about in a different way, um, so that we can learn to focus on, let me grab the pencil, shapes such as this, okay? Can you see this? Um, well, I'll just I'll cut it off right here so you can see here. Can you see? That's really wobbly. Can you see this negative shape? I'll just leave it right here so instead of going all the way across. This area right in here. We learn to see these things as well as this, okay, while we are drawing and recreating. Let me undo all that mess. <laughs> so as I sketch, I'm going to be talking about these things and hopefully helping you to understand and learn. It, it takes practice, you know, these principles. Okay, so here we go starting drawing this turtle. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think I'm just gonna start at the head and um, I want to accurately measure, but I also want to just keep my stroke very light. Um, in other words, we don't want to commit to it right away, such as me just real, I have it on a light setting, so it's gonna be light, such as me just all of a sudden saying, this is the turtle's head and this is where it's gonna be, I'm gonna do a really hard line or anything. Okay, so we're not going to do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep a real light touch. I'm gonna to start uh, at the beginning making some mental measurements, okay? So I notice here kind of the distance with this little peak of the turtle's head here. And so I just kind of try to, you know, eye it over here and get an idea of where that is, okay? And I notice too there's a little like flat part of his head. And then I start noticing how far away is, is it here, okay? And so there's a little distance there. Then I just see the head basically kind of curves in. So I'm not going to try to get too much detail. The head's a little flat here. It curves down here. So we got a little basic idea of the head. It's probably gonna be a little bit shaped differently when we're done, okay? So an idea of the head. Now I immediately see right here, this shape right here that we were talking about before. So, and it happens right there at the base of the head. Okay, so we've got this little, it's a kind of curves up a little bit. And then I also too see where I'm gonna end up with this line. The fin curves right about here. 
Okay, so it's going to be right about there. So I know to kind of, I see this angle right here. I know to angle it up right about to there to curve it over. I'm going to go a little lower. And then I just kind of go out kind of about the same distance. If you could see my eyes, they're, they're looking more at the, um, at the object almost than my, um, my little uh, computer pencil. Okay, because we want to draw what we see, not what we think we see. We're constantly observing these objects, okay? And um, a, another thing that will help that is something that's called blind contour drawing, where we learn to uh, draw um, more, we get better hand-eye coordination. We don't have to constantly look, you know, at our, our pencil and our paper. Um, so now I'm going to just pay attention to this little space right here. You see that little curve? This is the negative space I'm seeing as well as the positive space. It's like your brain starts to see both after a while, you know? So I see that same little triangle area in there like I did. And then I'm going to just come down a little bit and then I'm going to start measuring again. I'm looking at, it's almost halfway where this curve starts to take place, okay? So here's almost the halfway point right there. Sometimes I'll make just little marks even. And uh, I'll just uh, kind of go down to there. Again, this is all very general right now, okay? I, I can already tell there's some things wrong with my turtle's head, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'm just sketching it in. Now, I see down here the tip of this uh, end of the shell, okay, is right about here, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come in right about here, and that's where it starts to kind of curve back up or down, actually, you see, and you're constantly looking at the angles, too. So it curves back down. Now where does this point end? It ends not quite halfway and, you know, just a, a little bit up from the paper here. Okay, so we're not quite halfway and right about here. So again, I'm not as good with this, um, this uh, uh, Wacom tablet uh, as I am with a pencil, but it's actually kind of good because it makes me uh, have to focus more and explain more. <laughs> um, so now I'm measuring again and looking again at the angle of the shell and I'm kind of seeing where it's going to go up to before this next curve and I see it's about a halfway mark um, coming in I can't measure here because I don't know how big your paper is but I'm um, a little ways in here so we're about at a halfway mark and it comes in a little bit and kind of um oops there's a little mark there kind of goes up and around for the shell and then it's going to curve over. Now I can start correcting things a little bit. Okay, so from here, it kind of goes, goes out a little and then it kind of comes in, okay? So we've got a general idea and I'm gonna fix that head later. It's a little bit too small. Um, but now we can see right in here, I'm again looking at these negative spaces as much as the positive ones. I'm seeing this right here and I wanna recreate that. So I come here, you see, see how I'm doing the same shape there? And then it comes down a little bit here and then curves around. And again, I'm gonna already I'm looking ahead to see where this next mark's gonna be. And it's going to be just right about in here, okay? So we come right about in here with my needle low. Okay, so this next fin is gonna come around and down to here. And again, I'm gonna correct some of these later. And it comes up, and notice too, it doesn't come up real close to where this is. It Notice the distance here, okay? So I'm doing the same thing here. It looks like this would probably come out more, and this would end more like right in here, okay? So we've got a general idea for that fin. Again, I can see some things I need to kind of correct. Um, and then for these other ones, we're going to do the same thing. Notice kind of how far does this come down from the end of the shell, okay? And we've got a line. I'm looking at how this line is. It's just like a little curve back like that, okay? So I'm going to try to recreate that little line. Again, measuring, looking at shapes, and, um, and just paying attention to the positive and the negative spaces, okay? So again, I'm just getting the basics of this turtle down. I can see here too, I probably need to go up a little higher on the shell, and um, we'll get some of that in later. Okay, now this last fin, I see kind of where it, it is from the paper here, so I kind of, or the edge, and so I kind of know where that is going to end. And then I look at how far up does it come from the shell. It comes up right about to here, okay? So my line was a little low. And then here is where the other one comes. So we're just looking at shapes. What is that shape like of that fin? Okay, it does come up. So we've 
we've got the general idea of this fin here. Okay, so now we've got the general shape, and then what you do after that is you just go back and start making corrections. So I see here I've got my, my general shape here of the head, but I think I need to make his head go out a little bit further here, okay, and curve it down. And because I've drawn a sea turtle before, um, I know that they have a flat head on the top. That's one wonderful thing about being an artist is it causes you just to really study God's amazing world and his creatures. And, um, and it's just like a constant exploration. And it's like you're an adventurer in the world, constantly looking. When I started really focusing on my art, I realized I was just enjoying and looking at the world so much more. It was just a wonderful thing. And it's a habit you develop to where you just keep sharp eyes all the time and you keep an appreciative heart all the time. So again, I'm just kind of um, getting my shape a little bit uh, more precise and defined. And it ends up making, I actually like sketchy quality. So it ends up making this um, really artistic sketchy quality like this. And you know, if you were doing a serious piece, you can sketch things in, you can later go back and erase some lines. That's why you don't want to do really hard lines with things, okay? Um, so anyway, that's just the basic idea I hope it, and you can go back and rewind this and listen to some things slower if you want. Um, it's the basic idea of how to learn to measure, analyze, and um, just get your drawing skills better. Um, and so uh, I want you to try some more of these. I'm not going to do all of these here, but it's the same thing. Um, let me go and show. Well, actually, I can't do the background of these. They will actually fill up the whole space because I've got some gaps here. But I'll just kind of draw in here some of the negative spaces you're going to be looking at. So all of these negative spaces, when you do this one, you're going to be seeing this space and this shape this pen is not great, as much as you're seeing this shape. All right. So you learn visually just to analyze and observe and measure. And a neat thing is that as you're doing these, I find that you just kind of forget about all the cares of the world. So art is just so amazing for that. And that's why I always say come back to your little happy place because whatever you've got going on in life, if you've got a job or you've got little kids or whatever, if you can find your little moment, even just to do a simple exercise like this, it just takes the cares and stresses away from your world and gives you a little time for you and to learn something new. So I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Again, I'm gonna to try to provide the printable. Uh, if you have kids, maybe try these with your kids. It's a good family affair, things you can do. And uh, thanks for visiting. Subscribe to my channel if you like these. I'm gonna keep providing these little lessons, hopefully a few times a week. And uh, I enjoy being with you in this learning process. Thanks so much, guys. And I'll be back soon.